Let's go. And see my harvest of alligator pepper. A real lot. This is an amazing spice. It is expensive. It is rare. Highly valuable. Like I said, I have a video on it. Please check the description box. So today I just picked a few. I'm going to take it home so that we dry it and then the seeds are the spice. Okay, it's a long history. In the 14th century, this spice was traded across the Sahara Desert from West Africa, across to North Africa, across the Mediterranean to Italy and other parts of Europe. It was used as a spice, pepper. That was a time when trade between Europe and other parts of the world were disrupted because of the rise of the Ottoman Empire. So they started seeking for other areas to get spices. So they got this from West Africa. It was bought in West Africa, Ghana, Nigeria and other places and then shipped by camel caravan across the Sahara Desert to North Africa, Algeria, Morocco, those areas transported across a narrow sea to Italy and Spain and then it was sent across to other parts of Europe to be used as spices for food you know it's a hot spice it's like it's a kind of pepper so but watch my video about uh, the alligator pepper okay point everything is struggling to survive towards the end of the dry season most leaves are somewhat dried you can see this is the alligator pepper plant it is also getting a bit dry but it won't get completely dry because in a few weeks the rains are going to start so do we have any alligator pepper fruits there so you can see we are approaching the alligator pepper spice this is alligator pepper it's so beautiful i've made a video about this i think you should check the description i have a link to the video i did about a video i made about the alligator pepper a very comprehensive video about the history of the alligator pepper so please check in the description box and uh, watch that video it is really really wonderful Let's get down here. Oh yes, we do. They are all here. It is a, an amazing plant. See, the fruits are just lying there on the ground. Yes. So I'm going to pick these fruits. I'm picking some alligator pepper here. Yeah. We have the green one here. That is not ready to be picked. It's got to turn red. Alligator pepper being dried right on the farm. Very important spice. I have a video on it. You can check in the description box everything about the alligator pepper. Yeah, the alligator pepper plants are doing extremely well, even though they are being challenged by heat and dry weather. You can see another one here. You can see the alligator pepper plant here. Very, very important spice. There's another one. We've planted them all over the farm. We're just doing a kind of trial. If it thrives successfully, we're going to really, really plant a lot of it because it is an expensive spice. I've made a video on the alligator pepper plant. I think you should check out this video. I'll put the link in the description box. All right, so now I'm going to pack these ones and take them home, dry them up. 
So if you like this video, like it, give it a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and you can also support what we are doing on this channel. You can support us through Patreon or buy me a coffee. The links are in the description below. Your support is highly appreciated. You can also follow me on Facebook as Simply Natural. Follow Simply Natural on Facebook or on Instagram, My Simply Natural. Let's continue the conversation. So, thank you so much. Subscribe to this channel and see you in the next video. Bye for now. simply natural if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos your support means the world to me and it keeps me motivated to create more please consider supporting the channel through patreon or buy me a coffee links are in the description below you can follow me on Facebook as Simply Natural or Instagram as My Simply Natural. Links are in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.